My name is uh, François Pellin. I'm the uh, executive director for the studio and senior producer on the new project. My name is Marc-Alexis Côté, and I'm a creative director at Ubisoft Quebec City. We're in the middle of production of a new Assassin's Creed game. There's hundreds of people working on the project. They're super, super hungry to work on this game and to take the leadership. There's that passion, not just to make it differently, but as well to make it their own. So today we'll be talking about the new period for the game, the new assassin, what's his motivation, and we will show you a walkthrough of the game. Super excited to present to you and to announce the new installment of Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. London. 1868, the center of the industrialized world. Profits see progress while workers never sleep. Slavery not only comes through irons and chains, but through our very struggle to survive. Time for a change. Enough of those who seek only their own gain. We're amidst an industrial revolution. The telegraph, electricity, are changing the way that we live, shaping our future. But it must be a future for everyone. A different revolution is rising, more subtle. A blaze from the ashes of an old brotherhood. shall rise. Street gangs will be our armies. The slums our fortress. They say this is the modern era. I say it's time for a rebirth. And we shall lead the way. So Assassin's Creed Syndicate takes place in London in 1868. The Industrial Revolution, in essence, is society going from almost a medieval society to the modern society in which we live in today. It's an increase in productivity that's never been seen before in the history of mankind. You see transportation breaking through. In the span of a few years, enough railroads were constructed to go around the circumference of the Earth. It's a world that's ruled by science. We'll see tons of progress in medicine that prolongs the lifetime of people from about 20 years old to 50 years old. It's a world that's no longer ruled by kings or by religion. It's a world that's ruled by money. And this is something that completely changes society. You have the upper classes, which still rule the city because they are the ones who have the right to vote. So the faith of the lower classes was pretty much to either work hard and to die young, or to resort to something new. But the industrial era sees the birth of organized crime, a bit as we know it today. It's really a concept that takes root in the Victorian era. People would bend together to try to defend their common interests in what we could call syndicates. So the new assassin of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, his name is Jacob Fry. Jacob is a born and raised assassin. He's going to have allies that are the street gangs of London. Evie is twin sister of Jacob. She's the more calculated, the more rational uh, personality. She's the one that's going to guide uh, Jacob through his quest to free up London. Jacob will always approach the situation with a really hands-on and head-on approach. So he will be more brash, more brutal, more uh, confrontational. He's all about the trill. He's all about the chase.
Assassin's Creed Syndicate will be the fastest paced Assassin's Creed that we've ever built. The speed of combat in Assassin's Creed Syndicate has changed from the past. We are making combat much more closer range than ever in the past. The reason we're doing this is that the Victorian era has changed the way we think about weapons. You can no longer walk down the streets with a, a sword at your hip, you would be arrested. People fought with hidden knives, hidden blades, uh, with brass knuckles. So there's a lot of freedom for the player to create chaos. We are making combat much more like a brawl in which you have to control uh, the crowd and jump from one enemy to another enemy. One of the key innovations of Assassin's Creed Syndicate is its traffic system, and it's going to open up so many more gameplay possibilities. Players can jump on top of vehicles, they can drive them, they can integrate them to parkour. They can kill and assassinate people from vehicles. It makes the combat much more faster paced, but also more brutal and more lethal than ever before. Let me show you what I mean in this first gameplay walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It's reckless. It's clever. The blighters control every criminal enterprise in the city. If they work for us... Yes, but they work for the Templars. Oh, no, they're paid off by the Templars. Slight difference. If we take control of the gangs, we take control of London from the bottom up. You are talking about building yourself an army. Miss Fry, tell him this is complete madness. You'd need to consolidate your control. I can keep the rival gangs and the police from sweeping in and seizing the territory. You can't very well send Bloody Nora an engraved invitation. We have no idea where they hold up. Yeah, we do. You found them? The Blighties are operating out of the rookery. Bloody Nora will be there. Good work, Clara. Tremendous work. Jacob. Can't talk now, Henry. Duty calls. To your health. Apologies, Mr. Green. We are now in the city of London, one of the seven boroughs that you'll experience in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The city of London was the economic and financial heart of London in the 19th century. The borough fully embodies the hustle and bustle spirit associated with Victorian London. Booming businesses, busy sidewalks, and even busier streets. New to our game are iconic modes of transportation, including trains and carriages. Only present in Victorian London, carriages will change how you play Assassin's Creed. You can take the reins and traverse the city faster than ever before. You can also hide in them, adding another tool to your stealth game or run over targets and enemies. The possibilities are endless. In this mission, Jacob wants to take over one of the Templars' control gangs in order to build an army against the Templars that run the city. To do so, he will need to conquer the borough by dislodging the enemy gang from their stronghold. Not unlike big cities today, rich and poor share the same environment. Even the richest neighborhood, like Westminster, had areas where the police would not dare set foot. These slums were where street gangs ruled. With the simple push of a button, we'll activate stealth mode as we are entering enemy-controlled territory. Also new to our game, the rope launcher will change the way you navigate throughout the city. With this new tool, you can climb the highest building in seconds or a zip line from rooftop to rooftop. Let's trigger Eagle Vision to study our surroundings. We can see that one of our allies is in trouble. Let's give him a hand. We first need to eliminate the lookout to make sure he doesn't call reinforcements. The throwing knives will take him out silently. Oh! <laughs> 
we are facing a lot of enemies, so the head first approach is probably not a good idea. Also new to our game is the ability to use the environment to take out your enemies. Another one of our allies is in trouble. Let's take care of this before it's too late for him. Are you in danger, no, citizen? Don't look the slightest bit disreputable. Please don't start any trouble. Here now, he's <laughs> Now that our ally is free, for the help, we'll ask him to assist us in our fight for this slum. Here is the strong old leader, highlighted in yellow. Let's try to take him out with stealth, as he is more dangerous than common thugs. We'll use the hallucinogenic darts to turn our enemies against one another. This slum is now won, and your gang occupies the territory. Well, well. The assassins have come crawling out of their holes, have they? Damn it, boys! Deal with this! We were caught in a trap orchestrated by Bloody Nora, one of the seven Templar gang leaders. Her rule of the borough has been one of cruelty and suffering. We need to take her out once and for all. Let's go. Come on. Master. Bloody Nora's thugs are trying to make sure you don't get to her, ramming our carriage to kill her. Our carriage has taken some damage but seems to be holding up. to the gang war, an all-out confrontation between your gang and your rival for the ultimate control of the borough. Jacob feels right at home in these fights, thanks to our new fighting system, as it is faster and more responsive than ever before. Gentlemen, we are Jacob and Evie Fry, and as of this moment, you all work for us. The team is really focused and working really hard for the last two years in making sure that we have an amazing and polished single player experience. 
all the people I encounter on the teams, I keep asking to take good care in like the little street corner that they are working on to try to tell a story with all the tools that they have, with the crowd that they are placing so that the, the game has a story to tell everywhere the player turns a stone. It's an intimate relationship between the player and the protagonist as he relives his life in a pivotal moment in history. It's a completely new kind of Assassin's Creed. That it's respectful of the franchise, but that it transforms its gameplay in a way that makes it more fun than ever. I want them to feel like it's the best Assassin's Creed that's ever been made. It's a bloody marvelous time to be alive. An age of invention. So many clever blokes dreaming up impossible machines. Sorting away more gold than Queen Victoria herself. But none of those shillings ever makes it into the pockets of the poor devils whose blood is spilled building this glorious empire. The working class sleepwalks through life unaware of the machine that drives them. Let's wake them up then, shall we?